The kittens are way overdue for their bath. Along with everybody else, I've been trying to give the kitties more baths during the year to keep their fur nice and clean. And doing that, I keep it as simple as possible. This is my prep. Towel and soap. Let's hit. We've got the dryer permanently set up. If we use the dryer, or today it's so warm, we might let them air dry. This is um, just a crochet bag which has the Chubbs Bar soap in it. And it's the only soap that I'm using. This is not a fancy wash for show or anything like that, but it's a good degreasing soap. And it rinses out so well, which is its biggest plus. You want the water to feel just a little bit warm on your skin, not too hot. Sitka's up first, and these kitties do not like baths. They're not going to be very cooperative. We've clipped their nails. Look at their claws. Okay, let's get you nice and wet here. Yeah. You really do need some kind of a hose that you can move around like this. This is not always ideal, but it, it works well enough. I don't have the perfect setup. The only thing I don't like about the Chubbs bars is that they are a little bit awkward rather than um, liquid that you can just pour on them. But they do, they do, uh, as, you, as you can see, they suds up nice. So it's a little bit deceiving. It seems like it's not sudsing when it really is. Sudsing up quite nicely. A little bit warm. Okay, here we go. I should size them up twice. I rinse them off twice, but I don't always manage that. They get too squirrely. I'm not entirely sure how best to do their little heads. Now, I'm not sure. So we just do the best we can. Usually, often, the head doesn't get washed. Oh, look at it. He's there. To the window. <laughs> boy, boy. Boy, boy. Since boy, boy doesn't want a bath. She knows what this is all about. Like I said, this soap just rinses, it just almost it seems effortlessly to rinse it out. That's the one, the very best thing about the soap. And it also leaves a nice smell, it stays with them for a week or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have Krakatoa. And Krakatoa is a grease, she's a bit of a grease monster. Yeah, she is. A, she's not in the triple category, of course, but she does tend to be a little bit greasier than Sitka. Yeah. Okay, she, her fur is longer, too. In fact, I had to trim her, and she got a little trim around the face. That's her fur. So her ruff's just so long. Oh, you do really good. So wet. I have it in the little bag because it's easier to grip and I can also put in smaller pieces as they get small and hard to hold on to. Yeah, there we go. How you doing there, guys? Well, we're going to give them a little head start even though it's a really nice warm day. I'm going to let them dry a little bit. I keep the drying cage up here all the time now. So there's not a lot of putting up and taking down the big hose and uh, the dryer's up there in the closet. So nobody likes this. And I don't use it on all of them. I usually just get them started and then let them air dry. How about you, Mariah? Mariah got, had her bath a week ago. Nice ambient air since it's a warm day. The temperature's just right. It doesn't get hot. 
to the dry dry area is not heated at all. Now somebody was even purring here. This is this. I mean, we're about to get out of here. Okay, they're not completely dry, but they're close enough, and it's a nice warm day. So here you go. Go right out. Go right out. If you're dry, crack a jaw for a second. Sit a second. This is Krakatoa. <laughs> She's not as dry as Sitka is. She was second to go. She hasn't gone out in the sun either. Sitka went out in the sun for a quick, quick dry. Yeah, she did. Oh, is you cute? Let me do your tummy and everything, huh? Yeah. It's still kind of wet here. Yeah, that's a good girl. Let's take a look at this clean little kitty. Yeah, this is Sitka. Yeah, Sitka. She's all clean and she smells good.